hi, thanks for watching my video. So I just thought I would do something a bit different uh, in this video. So I'm going to do a little bit of a um, family tree thing. Um, I don't know whether there's like a challenge for it or whether anything like that exists, but I just I decided to make up my own. So we're going to go through periods of time. So I've got eight adults here who, believe it or not, are supposed to be Victorians. I know. I'm amazed by my own historical accuracy as well in terms of the fashion. <laughs> yeah, basically they're all just dressed like vampires, but you get the idea. They're meant to be Victorians, and um, I do have another family of eight Victorians, so I'm basically going to try and make the family tree as big as possible um, going through the generations. So these these people, their kids will probably be... I don't know, like 1930s, 1920s probably, that kind of vibe. So yeah, yeah. So before I actually get to the the baby making stage, because I have eight people, it does mean that none of them can get pregnant right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the photo studio, take a picture of all of the couples so that they've got somewhere to put them on the wall because these people are gonna die at some point, aren't they? And then I guess I'll probably either kill all of the fathers <laughs> or move them all out or do something with them. So, uh, yeah, let's start with getting some family portraits, shall we? This is, uh, this is the type of camera they had in those days, digital. So this is our first couple just doing a uh, typical Victorian pose. That's what they all did back in those days. There we go, there's one couple done. And then we'll do the next couple. Here's our second Victorian couple. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Bless them. I really struggled with the women's fashion. I literally just put them all in the same dress, different colour. Couple number three. Again, standard Victorian pose there. I really hope this works. This is going to take fucking ages, I think. But we'll see, we'll see. Oh, here comes our fourth and last couple. Well, of this household, anyway. We do have eight more. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so I'm thinking, logically, what's the best way to do this? I reckon the men are all going to have to move out. <laughs> and then they're going to have to just come and visit so that they can get their wives pregnant. And they are all married. I mean, these are Victorian times. Come on. So we'll just pop all of the men over there. Perfect. Right, they can move somewhere else. Just stick them on an empty lot or something. No toilet. They don't need it. They'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. Just stick them there. Job done. I am going to use some, um, some cheats, like for pregnancy, to speed up pregnancies and age babies up and stuff. Otherwise, this will take forever. The only thing I am concerned about is for this to work, they need to have an even number of sons and an even number of daughters. Otherwise, they, uh, they can't follow the, um, the family tree. So I'm not sure how I'm going to wing that one, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, we'll invite all of the boys over. Come on in, boys. That's it. Invite your husband to stay the night. And then, Rose, you can invite your husband to stay the night. You're allowed one sleepover per spouse, it's fine. Try for baby, there we go, there's one. Okay, Rose, you can go and try for a baby with Philip. Oh, who's this? This is Eric, okay. I think that's your husband? Yeah. Okay, so you can try for a baby with Eric. She's already trying for a baby, so it's just you. You just need your husband Jack to pop over, and then you're all done. Is that Jack? Here he is. Okay, so you can go and try for a baby with Jack now. Perfect. Oh, this isn't going to take long. Although I probably should have put a baby crib somewhere. Well, that's okay. That's fine. Take a pregnancy test. Well, what's the situation, Rose? Okay, she's pregnant. That's good. What about... Okay, Liana, you can come and take a test. Hopefully you're all knocked up. That would be the ideal scenario. 
And then I shall probably get rid of this bed and turn this room into like a nursery instead. Yeah, for their pajamas, I decided to keep it to uh, traditional Victorian clothing. <laughs> Liana's pregnant too. Fantastic news. All right, Mags, get on that toilet seat. Go on, girl. Oh, Maggie's not pregnant. Okay. Well, Lucille, you take a test, and then Maggie, you can try again. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. What about Lucille? Is she pregnant? Come on, you all got to get knocked up. Otherwise, this just isn't going to work. Them all in their pyjamas kind of ruins the illusion. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> okay, Lucille is pregnant, so it's just Maggie now that needs to get up the duff. Go on, I'll just keep an eye, just make sure you're doing it right. There we go. Okay, now take a pregnancy test. Okay, she is. Brilliant. Right, well then in that case... I'm going to turn this room into a baby room. So what do we want? Four cribs, right? I don't think there's currently a way to um, cheat the baby sex, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see, won't we? Okay, so let's just cheat your pregnancies a little bit. So she can be in labour. In fact, I'm just going to put you all in labour. Fuck it. There we go. Okay. They are all in labour, so I'm just going to send them all to have their babies. There we go. Look at that little line of pregos right there. <laughs> oh, bless them. So hopefully we get two boys and two girls. Okay, Lucille had a girl. So her name can be Diana. Kind of old-fashioned, but not too new. What else have we got? Maggie had a boy, okay. David. Rose has a boy. Richard. There we go. What happened to this woman's baby? It literally just said they caught an exception and then she didn't have a baby. Oh, that's so sad. Right, okay, let's just age these babies up. And then, um... And then we'll try and figure out what's going on with Liana. Okay, Diana can be fussy. That will do. David, inquisitive. Age up the baby. There we go, Richard's aged up. Okay, he can be wild. Maybe I'll get the, uh, the summon sim thing. There we go, okay, that'll come in handy. Edward, there we go. Okay, Edward's here, so we can try for a baby and then try and see if we can carry on the family tree. Not sure what happened there, but it's fine. Okay, now take a pregnancy test. Hopefully she's up the duff. Well, okay, she is expecting. Good, good. Let's just put her in labor. Okay, now she's in labor. Go and have the baby. Baby number four. <laughs> the noises they make when they're giving birth are really funny. <laughs> Just like in real life. Ah, oh, baby girl. Okay. There we go, Judy. Okay, no messing around. Just age that baby right up. And Judy can be angelic. Why not? Okay, so now I'm just going to do a cheeky little full edit mode cheat. And then we will edit them in Creator Sim. First things first, we'll get you back into your normal period clothes. There we go. Like you all work in a saloon bar. Perfect. And then we'll uh, do something with these babes. Okay, I'm going to give these guys a bit of a 20s look. So I'll be back in a sec and introduce you to the, the new line of family. Okay, so I've given the kids a little bit of a makeover. They've grown up. I'm not sure how 1920s they are, <laughs> but I did my best, okay? So this is uh, Diana, David, Richard, and Judy. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Richard and Judy, yeah. Well, they're going to be married. So there we go. These are our 20, 20s couples. Okay, so I have a plan. This is the dad's homes. I think the the main house is getting a bit crowded so we're gonna bring all of the mothers over here 
And you know, they are Victorians, they can't live forever. So I think I'm just gonna kill them all. <laughs> and then uh, take it from there with the 20s group. Or actually, maybe I won't kill them just yet, because if I kill them all off, that means that their kids won't want to try for a baby because they'll be too sad, because their parents have perished. Are we all in the family now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, okay, perfect, perfect. So I'm just gonna save this and then go to manage worlds. And now I've got my family of four 1920 Sims. They're ready to start making babies, but I think I'm gonna work on my other Victorians now. So we're gonna join this household. Non-stop fun with this one. <laughs> Again, I really spoiled this family with uh, all sorts of luxuries. I should probably at least build them a bed. There you go, that's all you need. A room and a door. Don't worry about windows. Be fine. Although, the family is full of eight now, aren't they? Which means I'm going to have to do the same thing as before and get all of the men to move out. Split from household and move. Although, shouldn't I be getting a picture of them as well? Probably should, shouldn't I? Oh, I'll worry about that later. I'll just stick them anywhere. Okay, in hindsight, I think I am going to build a little bit more than I'm going to build a photo studio and then I'm going to stick some baby cribs down. I know, quite, uh, quite artistic, this build. Yeah, I knew what you were going to say. There we go, jobs are good un. Okay, ladies, so how about you get your husbands round? And then we'll take some pictures of you guys together. And then you could try for some babies. Okay, so you straight away can try for a baby with your husband. And then you can take a picture of these two. Okay, so this is our fifth Victorian couple. Beautiful, aren't they? I know. And then we'll take a picture of these two. That's our sixth Victorian couple. I know, so Victorian. Oh, I should probably give them a toilet as well. Not so that they can go, but just so that they can take a pregnancy test. Just stick it in the bedroom. That's what they did in those days. Okay, now you can take a pregnancy test. And this is our seventh Victorian couple. Beautiful. Felicity is not pregnant, maybe next time. Ah, oh, poor Felicity. And then this is our eighth and final Victorian couple. Beautiful. Okay, so you can take a pregnancy test. Okay, Elizabeth is pregnant, that's good. So then Felicity, you can try again. I might just build them another room because they, <laughs> they don't really have anywhere to go. So they're all just like not able to get down to it. Okay, there we go, that's better. Okay, let's find out if she's pregnant. Any luck, Felicity? Any luck? Oh, still no for Felicity. Okay, so now you can take a pregnancy test. Hopefully you're up the duff. Hey, Elsie's pregnant too. Good news. Uh-oh, two of them are just not getting pregnant. I mean, that's not great. It's not ideal. Having some real trouble conceiving. I wonder if I can, like, force her pregnant. I might just buy him another bed. Okay, you've taken, you've had a woohoo. Any chance you're knocked up? Go and have a look. Go and see. Ah, oh, finally, Felicity's pregnant. Okay. So it's just you now. Just have to get you knocked up. Come on, you're the last couple. You've got to get it done. Okay, take a pregnancy test. Hopefully she's pregnant. Finally, yes, they're all pregnant. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna put them all in labor. Okay, they're all in labor, so I'm just gonna one by one send them to go and have their babies. Oh, Elsie's having her baby. Okay, now you can go and have a baby. What have we got, a boy? Okay, we'll call this one Kevin. Marge is having a baby. Oh, what we got over here, Marge? Oh, Marge has had a boy. What's a boy's name that's not too old, but still kind of old. Raymond. There we go. Felicity's having a baby. Kevin's aged up. There we go, there's Kevin. And then you can age up your babe too. 
It's just the amount of moaning going on here. Oh, we had a girl. Catherine. There we go. Raymond's aged up. He can be fussy. Oh, we had a baby girl. Okay, we'll call this one Anne. Perfect. Right, let's age these two up. I hate the noise of the crying. There we go. Catherine's aged up. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, I think it's time we go back into Cass. Again, I'm going to turn them all into 1920s people, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so the kids are all grown up, and they're a bit more... A bit more 20s looking, I suppose. Look, don't hold me to ransom on this. Like, she's probably a bit more 1950s. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm trying my best, okay? Right, you know what time it is. I think it's time these mothers move out. Yes, I think so. Felicity, you gotta go. Elizabeth, you gotta go. Marge, you gotta go. Some money in your pocket. Go move in with your husbands or something. There we go, they can move in with their husbands. So we should just be left with four 1920s themed people here, and then four there. So let's go back to the Dermot house and make the next generation. In their stereotypical 1920s outerwear, right there. <laughs> okay, first things first, let's get you all together, get you back in your normal clothes, take some family photos. So I think first things first, let's get some relationships going on here. So you can come and ask this girl to be your girlfriend, you ask her, and then you guys can get married, all of that. Oh, bless them, they're all having their first kisses. Right, you can propose to her. You can propose to this one. Okay, they just got engaged, so they can just elope immediately. Oh, this is a beautiful moment. Elope immediately. And then you guys can elope immediately. Okay, they're getting married. And then these two can get married. Okay. We're all married, all happily married. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we'll get a picture of this happy couple and then we'll swap around. This is going to be a nightmare going back and getting all the photos I've taken. In hindsight, I should have just stuck them on the wall. Never mind. Great, perfect pose. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Talk about overpowering man. That's better. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now though, I think it's time to uh, make the next next line okay we've got two people trying for a baby up there you guys still going or you're almost done or what was the situation with that oh dear she's not pregnant well that's okay we'll try again we'll try again what about you did you get pregnant any luck for you okay she's pregnant that's good we've been quite lucky with the genders so far can't really complain on that front Oh, she's pregnant too. Okay, cool, cool. Let's put you both in labour. Okay, they're both in labour. So this next generation, I'm thinking more like 60s, hippie-ish kind of vibes. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, we've got a boy. Let's call him Brian. Little baby Brian. Okay, let's age up baby Brian. Oh, and we've got a girl. What should we call her? Hmm. Call her Linda. Here we go. Little Brian aged up, he can be independent. And then we'll age up little baby Linda. There we go, there's Linda. Right, let's let's uh, grow these kids up, shall we? Edit them. Okay, so the babes are all grown up. A little bit more 60s, maybe 70s, I don't know, I don't know. But this is Linda and that's Brian. And also I just realised I can basically make them married this way. So that's what I'm going to do. There we go. Job done. Also, I'm thinking while I'm here, I might just try and get their parents to come over. Oh, it's a bit too early in the day. That's fine. I'll get their parents to come over another time. And they can try for a baby. In the meantime, I'll get a picture of these two to add to the wall. And then I'll get them to try for a baby. And then we'll try and get some of the old photos back. <laughs> there we go. They're in their outerwear, but they still look kind of 60s-ish. Beautiful. 
Probably more 70s, but never mind, never mind. Same diff. Let's see if we can get those two to try for a baby. Try for a baby? There we go. Okay, let's add her to the family. See if she's got anything in her inventory. Did you take any pictures? No, apparently not. Okay, that's fine. Well, I think it's time that you die. <laughs> I feel so bad. Death by lightning. There we go. Sorry, Lucille. You gotta go. Oh, there she goes. Oh, so sad. Go and take a pregnancy test. Oh, Linda is pregnant. Good news all round then. Judy Dermot is dying from laughter. I didn't even realise that was a thing, that your sins could just die from laughter. I didn't even do that. Okay, what about Eric? Did he take any photos? No. Alright, well, he's gonna have to go then. Sorry, Eric. Oh, another one bites the dust. Just keep their graves over here, shall we? Yeah, I think so. Okay, what about these two? Have either of you got any pictures in your inventory? Oh, she's got a few. Okay. I'll worry about arranging them later. Oh, bye Rose. She's gone. On the bright side, today's mail has been delivered, so it's not all doom and gloom, guys. You got anything in your inventory? Yeah, she's got a few. I think she's got the rest of them from this family, actually. Oh, they're all so sad, bless them. Basically just killing them all, really. You can die as well. Just killing them left, right and centre. She's so angry that she's dying from anger. So who have we got that's still alive? So his dad is dead and his mum's dying and then he's next. What about Diana? Her mum's dead. Oh, but Jack is still alive. Okay. So we need to get Jack over here, really. And Edward and Philip. Okay, well, I'm sure we can manage that. Grim Reaper's really got his work cut out here. Just move some of these urns outside, I think. Don't want them cluttering up the living room, do we? Nah, there we go. Beautiful. So this is what the family tree is looking like so far. But they have their own separate family trees, so we want to bring them together a bit more. So I might teleport a few sims. I think I'm going to need to. So Philip, we want Philip to come here. Wait, who else are we actually looking for? Philip, Edward, and then that's all of the family. Okay. Well, there's Edward. Now we just need Jack. We just need to kill off these guys. There we go. They should all just start dying now. There we go. And then you, I'm going to stick you in your labour phase of pregnancy. This is going swimmingly well. And then, Linda, you can just go and have the baby. Job done. There we go, just move this gravestone out here. Move this gravestone out here. So everyone that needs to die is dead. What should we call this one? So this will be more of a, an 80s baby. Hmm, what's an 80s kind of name? Cindy? There we go, Cindy, that'll do. Okay, now it's time to join those two families together. So I need to find someone from like the 1920s household. What about Anne? She was, wasn't she? Yeah, she can come here and then add her to family. So she's with Kevin, so let's get Kevin round here. All these gravestones, eh? Shocking. There we go, beautiful, beautiful. And now you can try for a baby. So we're basically making the 60s kids all over again. <laughs> Yes, yeah, she is. Okay, good. Okay, so we'll get a picture of those two. Oh, this is going swimmingly well. Come on, guys. We haven't got time to waste. Perfect. Oh, look at them looking all blush because they just <laughs> they just had sex. Bless them. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to put you in labour. Okay, so she's gone into labour. Go and have the baby. And then with this guy, I think we need some more deaths, you know. So let's get Elsie round here. Yeah, she's, I mean, she's a Victorian. She, she's got to go. Let's just check her inventory first. Take out any pictures we might need for the family photo tree. Okay, let's, um, let's age up Cindy. 
These are meant to be two generations because Cindy's an 80s baby, but this one's meant to be the 60s one. Let's call him Andy. There we go. Perfect. So a little bit out of sync, but that's okay. Cindy's the charmer. And then you can age up Andy. Age him up, age him up. He could be a charmer as well. Perfect. Okay, let's um, let's just edit these. Okay, so there's Andy. He can be aged up. And then that way I can kill off everyone else. Okay, so these two, they can die now pretty much. There we go. And you can die too. There we go. Jobs are good in. Okay, now I think we want to bring the other 1920s people over. Oh, there's a tombstone over there. Ah, oh, there we go. Stick it there. Catherine, there we go. We'll bring her here. Add her to family. And then I'm going to get another one of those summon sim things. Okay, so she can teleport her husband here. All the lights are out. Oh, is it because we didn't pay our bills? Okay, maybe we should do that. <laughs> so we can get some lighting back. Pay bills. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Wasn't that hard? Okay, and then we'll get a picture of the other 1920s couple. And then they can have a baby, which would be the 60s baby. It's hard to keep track of all this, but it's all going to work out in the end. I'm sure it will. There we go. Beautiful. I set these guys as um, married before they'd even had their first kiss. They were basically strangers. But that's what happened in those days sometimes. Arranged marriages, I think, were quite normal. So, you know, it's pretty accurate. Okay, you could try for a baby. And then I'm going to take a closer look at this wall and see who we're missing. Right, we are technically in between the 60s and 80s now, which means we can afford to have lights. <laughs> right, let's take a closer look at these. So we want... The Victorians are up top. Victorian. Wait, are they Victorian? Yeah, they're Victorian. They are. So are they. So are they. Okay, they're the next generation down. They're the 20s. Yeah. Okay, so we have all of our 1920s couple, one of our 60s couples. One, two, three, four, five. And we're missing three photos of our Victorians, but that's fine, we can get there. At least we know where we are now. Anyway, you, did you get pregnant? Go and take a t- oh. Are they woohooing right now? Try for a baby. Go on, go for it. Woohooing for the first time. Okay, go and take a pregnancy test. Hopefully you're knocked up. Any luck? Yes. Expecting. Okay, good. Good news all round. Okay, well then in that case, let's put you in labour, and then you can go and have a baby. So this baby is not an 80s baby, this is a 60s baby. Okay, makes sense. Gets a bit confusing after a while. <laughs> oh, we had a baby girl. Okay, so what should we call this one? Um, call this one Jenna. Perfect. And then we want to pretty much immediately age Jenna up. Go on then, age up the baby. So she can be a charmer. And then we're going to go to full edit mode again. Oh, this is going swimmingly well. Don't really have much that's 60s. I'm just going to stick her in this. Fuck it. That's kind of 60s, that hairstyle. That'll do. And then I'll put her as married to Andy. There we go. Really playing with DNA in this game, aren't we? Right, okay, let's get a picture of those two. Andy and Jenna. There we go. Well, I mean, we've bred out all of the blondes, so our last generation will definitely not be blonde. There we go, there's our next couple, and at this point I've completely lost track of which number they are. <laughs> I have no idea. All I know is that they live there on the wall. Okay, so they can have their first kiss and then try for a baby. Okay guys, now you can try for a baby and hopefully, hopefully get pregnant. Go on, off you go. Try for a baby. Okay, go and take a test. Hopefully you're knocked up. 
Oh, Jenna, that is some racy underwear you've got there. Okay, she's pregnant. Perfect. Well, in that case, I think it's time you died. And also, I can't remember who Raymond actually is, where he fits into it. Okay, yeah, Raymond's, Raymond's gotta die. Stop wanking off. Come on. Being silly now. There we go. You're gone as well. Okay, so I think before you have a baby, let's just summon a few sims because we still have a load of Victorians still alive and that, that will not do. Graham, for example, you gotta go. Clifton and Marge, you both need to go. Kill Sim, yes please. Sorry Victorians, but you are past your sell-by date. I'm just hoping that <laughs> one of you have got like photos in your inventory, that's all I'm hoping for. Kill Sim by mother plant. I like killing them by mother plant because then they just disappear and you don't have to wait for the Grim Reaper to do his business. Oh, oh, I think we found the three missing photos. Yes, we have. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so they're all going. Is there anyone left still alive that shouldn't be? Let's find out. Right, so let's check your family tree, find out if you've got any... No. Okay, good. So her grand parents are all dead. What about you? Yep, his grandparents are all dead. Brilliant. Happy news all round. And what about you? Oh, we've got one still alive. Hans is still alive. And both of these are Edward and Elizabeth. All right, well, we'll soon change that. Hans, Edward and Elizabeth. Okay. Well, there's Hans. Oh, there's Edward. And there's Elizabeth. Okay, okay. Let's make some utter carnage, shall we? Kill Sim. Yes, please. Yes, okay, there we go, there we go. So that's every generation beforehand gone. So now I'm going to put her in labour. So you can go and have the 80s baby. Oh, this is perfect. So by the end of this, we should be left with one sim that is pretty much the one person left out of all of these people. I'm interested to see what they look like. I want to know how far the genetics have gone. Okay, this one we'll just call Dean. Nothing too fancy, it's the 80s. And then you can age up that baby. Get it done, Gail, get it done. There we go, right, time to go back into full edit mode. Right, so this is the 80s, so we want to give her a bit of a permed look, I think. I haven't really bothered with any of their lipsticks up until now, but up until now, but 80s, you know, they're quite they were quite bright, weren't they? So I'm kind of thinking I might just give her some makeup. There we go, there's Cindy. Not really sure how 80s that is, but it will do. And I'll put them as married. Yeah, there we go. Job done. Okay, let's get you back in your 80s clothes. Kind of tried to go for more of a Madonna vibe with, uh, with Cindy. Okay, so now you two go and have your first kiss. That'll be beautiful. That's it. There we go. Really need to find a place for all of these urns. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. Okay, before you guys get under the sheets, let's get a picture of you two to add to the wall. See the jeans that carried through. This is actually really interesting, like taking loads of people, different hair colours, different skin colours, and then seeing what you end up with in the end. There we go. Beautiful. One for the album. And also I'm interested to see what, um, what gender we have left. Hopefully she gets knocked up. What has she got in her milk? You stole some milk. For goodness sake, Cindy. Okay, now take a pregnancy test. See if you're up the duff. Oh, she's got the same sexy lingerie as her grandmother. Maybe it was a hand-me-down. Cindy is not pregnant, maybe next time. Well, you know what? We are gonna try the fuck again. We're gonna keep trying until we have an heir to this. And everyone's gonna die until there is just one sim left. 
The annoying thing is, though, is whichever sim I'm left with, I'm not going to be able to do anything with, because the baby that comes out of this, I'm not really going to want them to just marry some lone sim, because I feel like with a family tree like theirs, I'll only want them to have a baby with someone who has a similar family tree, so this is just going to spread for miles like a fucking spider web. Okay, now go and take a test. I hope we've got some more urns up here. That's fine, we'll move them out the way. There we go. Yep, this is a building with a wealth of history now. There we go. Finally, pregnant, okay. Just put her in labour. So you can go and have a baby now. And then everyone else can pretty much die. Yeah. Sad story. There we go, you're gone. Achievement, Black Widow. Have a sim outlive five spouses. I think it's got a bit confused there. Because all of my sims only have one spouse, but okay. Maybe it's just because one of my sims has outlived other people's spouses. And then you can die as well. Sorry. Bye bye Oh, it's a girl, okay. Call her Courtney. And then immediately we'll just age up Courtney. There we go. And the dad can die. Just get rid of all of them. It's a sad tale, but it's our tale. Go on then, age the baby up. What are you doing? Age, the, age up the baby. Oh, she aged up. Straight into create a sim. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, great. Let's get a picture of her and then uh, take a look at our family tree. Take a photo of Courtney for the for the wall. <laughs> for fuck's sake, Courtney. Right, we're going to have to try that one again, aren't we? <sighs> Don't be so emotional. If you're that sad after your dad's death, imagine how you're going to feel after your mum dies, because she's next. Poor cow. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine. If that's what you want, if that's really what you want. I mean, she's not even sad, and it was her husband that died. She's flirty. Oh, that's better. That's much better. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Okay, well, I mean, you can pretty much die now, too. And then... Just gonna go ahead and arrange this family tree. Look at that. What a story that is. Oh, we'll just end Winterfest, yeah. There we go. Of all those sims, all those genetics, this is what we're left with. Well, there we go. There we go. That was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, wait. No, I was going to show you the family tree. <laughs> there it is. Spans too far to even see, but there it is. Ain't it beautiful? Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.